Hello everybody, in this video I want to show how anybody can run an open source large language model on their local computer using LM Studio. Now ideally to run models locally on your computer you need to have a decently powerful system. I have a MacBook Air which has 16 gigs of RAM and an Apple M2 chip. I would consider this to be in the lower to mid-level range of computer strength. Now if I had something like a MacBook Pro with 32 gigs of RAM with an M2 or M3, that would be more on the upper to mid-level range. But you'll see how my system is good enough to run quite a few models already. Now if you haven't already, I recommend you to create a free account with HuggingFace.co and also follow Tom Jobbins who is the bloke on Hugging Face. He shares a lot of open source large language models for you to try out locally using LM Studio. You should also go to lmstudio.ai and download their latest software based on your system. As you saw, I have a MacBook Pro, so I got this version. If you have Windows or Linux, you can download the relevant versions on your computer. Now after you install LM Studio, this is the interface you're going to see on your computer. The first thing I want to mention here is this term called GGUF. So GGUF is a file format and the name of a software library that enables running large language models on consumer hardware. Basically, when you go and search on Hugging Face, you need to get the version of the large language model which ends in GGUF for it to run locally. And this search bar in the middle is where you paste the Hugging Face URL from the website I just showed to get the relevant model. Now what's great about LM Studio is it detects how strong your computer is and recommends some large language models which will potentially work for you. For example, we have the Stable Code Instruct 3 billion parameter model by Stability AI and Google DeepMind's Gemma 2B Instruct models, which are recommended to me based on my system. As I scroll down here, you see how there's a bunch of models which mention 8 gig plus RAM. What that means is off my system's memory, it's going to use up 8 gigs of memory if I run this model. Now I have 16 gigs of RAM, so a model requiring 8 gigs of RAM should be just enough for me. Ideally, you should have something like 32 gigs of RAM or 64 gigs of RAM ideally to run really strong models which can do a lot of tasks for you. Now for each of these models, as you see, it mentions the number of parameters in it. So this is 7B, which is 7 billion. The second one is the family of models it belongs to. For example, this Code Llama 7B Instruct model belongs to the company Meta AI in the Llama family of large language models. And as I mentioned, this already gives you a general idea of how much RAM it'll need. It also specifies how big the file size is and a general description of whether this is a large and slow or in this case, a small and fast model. Now to get started, I'll install the Google DeepMind schema to be instruct model, which seems pretty small and that should not disrupt my system. So all I do is to click download right there. And as you see in the model, it says one downloading. You see it's in the middle of my download right there. Since this is pretty small, it should download pretty fast. Now, as you see below that the model has been downloaded. So I'm going to close this download window and go to the button on the left called AI chat. Here, you're going to see an interface similar to ChatGPT or cloud or any other large language models you might have been using on a browser. But this time we're running it on a local computer. Now to use the Gemma model that I just downloaded, all I do is to go on the top and click select a model to load and click on Gemma that we just downloaded. Now if the model is really large, it might take some time to load. But as you see here, the model got loaded up fine. Now if you want to try a different model that you might have downloaded, you need to eject this model first using this button on the right called eject model. And just like that, we have removed the model that we just loaded. I'm going to reload it once again and clear this right pane. And now we can start using this LLM similar to you might have done using ChatGPT. Let me start with a simple question. How do you make boiled eggs? 
Okay, we have an ingredient which is one large egg and water. Rinse the egg, add water to pot, bring water to boil, reduce heat and simmer, remove eggs, allow to cool before peeling and serving. Looks good to me. Now let me try something which can be more of an opinion. Which country has the best bread? Okay, it says I'm unable to answer this question as I do not have access to personal opinions or preferences. Sounds fair to me. Let me try a coding question. A binary tree in Python. Okay, it gave me some pseudocode. Let me try see if it can provide me the code. Give me the actual code. All right, it says it's unable to provide the code requested because it can't access external resources or provide code samples. So this means that Gemma here cannot access the internet or doesn't have a large enough data set so it can work with code. What that means is we might need to use a different model which is specific to coding for such questions. For that, it might be better to use this one called Code Llama 7B Instruct. But if this had not shown up on my home screen right here, I could have gone to Hugging Face and searched Code Llama. And we have this one, which is the 7 billion parameter. I'm going to copy the URL right here and paste it in this search bar. Now, anytime you search for a model using LM Studio, you're gonna see this section right here on the search results. Now, mine says full GPU offload possible. That means this model might entirely fit in your GPU's memory. Now, if this shows up as red, I don't recommend using that model on your computer and you might need to upgrade your system to use that. One example is this one, which is a different version of the Code Llama, and it says it's slightly too large for this machine. So whenever you see this message on your search results, it means that the memory requirements might exceed the available resources on your machine, and downloading is not recommended. I'm gonna go ahead with the original one where it does show green for me and click download. All right, now that my download for the Code Llama model is complete, I'm gonna go back to my AI chat and eject that previous model, which was Gemma, and download this new one, which is the Code Llama 7B model. I'm gonna create a new chat on the left. Give me the code to reverse a binary tree in Python. Okay, so initially it just gave me some pseudocode and now it has provided me with some Python code to reverse a binary tree. Let me see if it can give me a mixed question, something like, what are the top five coding questions for JavaScript interviews? All right, it's giving me the top five common coding questions for JavaScript interviews. Okay, let me ask it for the code. Give me the code for the first one. Okay, it is providing me with some code now, which is great. Let me try, give me the code for the third question, but in Python. Okay, so the question was implementing a stack using an array, and instead of JavaScript, it is providing me the solution in Python. Now let me try messing with this piece of code a little bit and see if it detects it. So what I'm gonna do is to add an extra dollar sign here, add an extra dot here, and add two colons here, and mess up this regex a little bit and press enter. All right, even though it's mentioning only one of the issues, it seems to have fixed this one, this one, and also this one. Now I'm fairly happy with the results because if I were to use a coding model locally, it would be for debugging versus writing a lot of code. Because to write fresh code, you would need a different kind of software, which would get the context of the whole code base, and that's a whole different other discussion. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you got some value from it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.